Hi everyone and welcome to my newest playthrough, let's play it, let's survive, whatever. Diablo 2, a lot of destruction of course, modded to hell, as I like to call it, or if he wants to talk to me. So what I did here, basically I have Pluggy 10.0 installed, the game is uh, version 1.13 C, not D, C. And uh, I also, well, Pluggy of course comes with uh, an extended stash, which uh, I'm only going to use one page anyways, but it's there, cube is bigger, I'm starting with a cube. And you got all these uh, nice stats here, if you're interested. And a lot of other nice things like unassigning skill points, unassigning uh, well, skill points and uh, what's it called? Attribute points, stats, whatever. Now, um, I'm gonna try to resurrect an old school kind of mod that is not supported anymore. Good to see you. I'm gonna explain it while I'm uh, venturing out. So I'm gonna play as Amazon and there used to be a mod called Power Item Overdrive mod which used to drop a lot of shit. I shall purge this land of the shadow. It was really I mean uh, Diablo as it is it's not hard. As you can see, I'm playing with, uh, with the 8 player build modification. Uh, it makes all the systems a lot harder. Uh, I'm having these charms that will raise my magic time to 1200 something percent, which means basically. I will have to, uh, if, if a monster has 1% one, one, 1 chance to drop a magic item, it will have 12% now. Which is not much, but it does help a lot. It does make the game a lot more rewarding, to say the least. And I'm gonna play as Javazon, of course. And uh, I'm not gonna have crazy drops, like I was trying to figure out perfect drop mod, but I hear foul creatures about. That didn't really work out for me, for my playstyle. It was a bit too much, actually. but not too broken and I've also got another mod installed which is uh, I think it's called Better Drops mod which actually only increases like the uh, innate uh, ability or uh, innate ability the innate chance of a character of uh, finding units Rares and sets. I think unique is like increase 100%, so basically you have double the chance to find unique items. Which is nice. I mean, unique items don't get broken, and uh, as I said, I want to play it like back in the days, but too bad that uh, power item is. I can't even find it anymore. I swear, I 
I spent hours and hours looking for that mod. I just can't find it. It's, uh, it's not there anymore. Even if it would be there, it only was supported uh, for 1.9. There are a lot of changes. Obviously, this game. Which make it so much more fun. Just wanna play the latest. However, with that said, the latest one is 1.13d, but Plucky doesn't support 1.13d, uh, only C. And just some minor format, something like that. So it's not really a problem at all. I'm fine with playing C instead of D. So I'm gonna play the gym as well. I'm gonna try to put as many points as possible into vitality, strength and dexterity just as much as to equip armor and weapons and uh, dexterity just to have like the highest possible chance to block. And I went up a level again. I'm not gonna put anything in energy. I mean, I'm gonna suffer, but I will try to look for stuff that increases my mana as much as possible. Uh, let's see. I should start putting in vitality because I'm gonna melee a lot in the beginning. I'm gonna aim for basically the CS. As I like to call it, Lightning Fury, and I'm gonna use Lightning Bolt for a long period of time and these uh, melee skills. Basic Power Strike and Charge Strike with my best friends. And I'm gonna leave the arrows alone. I've been needing the site eventually anyways for as a prerequisite to, walk, to Walkery. And I'm gonna spend some points here and I'm gonna look for unique items and especially items that have plus one to to steal because I do like to have plus skills for free. some stuff. Impossible. Oops. As you can see, I also have a different mod here. This is called the Giga Inventory. Just makes more space for you while you're venturing around. I don't need that. I think that's it. Um, this this build is uh, like uh, I, I haven't tested out the mod yet. Playing a little bit. I got to uh, as far as uh, Act Four, the character, but then OBS decided not to record. That's it. Just restart the whole thing. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drink a lot of mana potions until I get enough mana to survive longer. is well and truly able to Uh, 
points if you are fully and if you are in it's going to be a bit grindy. Uh, not even grindy, that's the right word. Like, we're gonna be struggling a bit. With mana and uh, and the amount of javelins I have on me, because as you can see, obviously, by throwing a javelin, that's, that's like gone. And then I will have to return to town and repair and blah blah blah. It can be quite agitating. But it's manageable. As I said, I mean, uh, this is far, far more like, capable to solo hell. I would also like to do this with a uh, macro, but uh, I can't go uh, as far as uh, 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 the hell uh, macro wants to build. Of course, I've seen some videos that I actually can't solo hell, but. I like to rely on my summons. And I bet you can, but that's just too much work for me. Um, probably dexterity, why not? I have some block. I mean, the Amazon is all about blocking, anyways. her to block a lot. Uh, and for now I'm just gonna hoard a lot of skill points until I get the skills I need. Nice drop, it's not too crazy. Just just nice. It's enough. Two monsters remaining now. Yeah, I think I know where I have to go. And I will add little bits of information here and there just to clear out things, but you know, generally that's it. I'm just uh Normal gamer, a casual gamer, I always wanted to make a, a modded Diablo 2 playthrough the way I like to play it. Which is more rewarding, but then again, not too easy. I mean, Diablo is easy enough, anyways. Well, uh, you can go to Nightmare or Hell if you find it like too easy, but obviously you will have to play it normal before going anywhere near Nightmare or Hell. Perhaps now the sisters will trust me. Perhaps. I'm probably gonna ruin the immersion of a lot of, of, uh, lot of people here, but... Greetings! Um, that's how you reassign your, uh, your skill points. It's given to you once per game. Uh, be, well, I can use it just to get it out of the way. But uh, how much is ten is remaining? Okay. I do have this this mod which well if I mess up I'm gonna reassign skill points but only if I mess it up. I'm not gonna respec every now and then. 
I mean, I know why uh, Blizzard put it in, it's just to experiment easier, but it's fine. Oh, I wanted to identify stuff, because I don't have kill yet. I forgot I was, what I was talking about, so whatever. Oh, that's not a good buy. Oh, I don't even have enough money. Son of a bitch. Okay, well. Let's get some money at least to identify some stuff. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. More mana, less problems. Sometimes it worths it to identify items, sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on your luck. That's good. I mean, see, 5,000. Boom. Cash. 5,000. Cash. Boom. Straight 10,000. No problems. It's a much better start, I mean, of course you can grind, you can black, yeah, well... Why not? You can grind as much as you want, but in the end, it's just gonna make your life harder. I'm lazy. Uh, rewarding game and Diablo 2 isn't too rewarding. Good evening. You have to farm, you have to grind a lot to get the gear that you want. And this this uh, setup of the mod Let's gives you a little bit uh, less suffering, as I would like to say or call it. I'm not sure if it's in the mod or not, but gambling has been changed a lot now. I think uh, it is set to your level. Basically, the higher level you are, the more it will cost you to gamble. Plus one energy. I want a nice shape. That's not bad. I will probably blow all my money on this. Hmm. It's not dead. Nah. I was trying to find a mod that actually makes the gamble items that you can gamble from more closer to what your character is. I mean obviously as a as, a, as an Amazon I'm not particularly gonna use particles and stuff. And uh, yep, yeah, there are some rules that I set for myself. The reason why I got the Horatio Cube is because um, over item overdrive there was one particular recipe that allowed you to make mix. And by making mix I mean you can use the Horaju cube, cube and the recipe was like three gems, whatever gems, one jewel and the rare version of the item that you want to, to create the unique uh, version of. So basically if I want the unique version of uh, let's say this shield then I need a rare shield, three gems and a jewel. Now, obviously that, that recipe won't work in the vanilla because it's not in there, but uh, I mean it's quite it's a quite rewarding way to finish this quantity, that's really good. Oh well. Ooh. If 
perfect. That's even better. I'm taking this one. It's just a better way to spice up your gameplay. If I do that, because then I have something to collect stuff for. Otherwise, why would I collect all this shit? It's not that rewarding. Jewels are under rewarding, gems are under rewarding. So that's how I'm gonna do it. And you can call me a cheater if you want to. I don't think it's cheating, it's just spicing up an old game. I wouldn't be playing Diablo at all if I haven't found a solution. And I've been trying for months and I've been uh, thinking about ways to really spice it up and make it interesting again for me to play it. But in return I'm not going to use anything that raises my magic uh, fine because it's, it's already quite high, to be honest. Ooh, these houses are good. I will want to keep an eye out for mana potions if possible. Obviously. Although I have quite nice mana. I just have to keep an eye out for basically mana raising items, charms, anything. Anything that raises my mana is my friend. And uh, as I said, this is not going to be a low walkthrough, so. If you're looking for that, check out any other playthroughs. This is this is hardcore. I will try not to die. I didn't want to set my character or to be hardcore because I mean you can die in this game. It's very easy. Even if you're if you're very cautious, you will die. Especially in later uh, difficulties, but with eight players, it's possible that you die. <laughs> Of course not the next one, but anything can happen. You might get a very crazy broken boss and uh, he just kills you. Don't steal my key of Flowey. No leeching of experience. Now I want to snipe one guy here and that's the Pishibosh. Probably he's already here. Yep. I don't know if you find it this early, it just makes you happy. And I'm out. here and fight all these fallen because I don't care. I gotta say my man is much better. And this Jigli is awesome. Crazy fit. And of 
course I'm only going to pick up things that I think that I judge are useful. I'm only gonna fight enemies that I know that this is for a while but it's time to have um data mine to difficulty with the Amazon with the Javazon with the help of some of these nice nice mods. Well that's not what I'm looking for. I should really level up. I'm level six <laughs> basically add some decorating and life and damage and since the poison javelin oops let me demonstrate <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dodge as well, of course. Alright, that's it. On to Blood Rage. I haven't done anything to the experience progress. This is just uh, Vanilla with the 8 player uh, built in mod. Oh, Stony Field. No, 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 no. I want to go to the bureau accounts first. Oh crap, where is it? Out there. I see. Missed it. It's not that rewarding because you try to get done anyways. Of course, you're giving up more probability of dropping the good items. Yeah, but then that's already farming, which I don't like anymore. I don't have that much time. Diablo because of the It's quite bad. It's been out for a long time and uh, well, Blizzard is notorious for patching it up. It's no wonder they they have now Understandable, and this is with every Blizzard game, so it is what it is. They're fixing it. 
I can't carry anymore. So much. strength and dexterity on demand so whenever I need to equip something I will probably just try to cut on vitality otherwise I will just My army will destroy. I can't uh, carry okay. Oops. We will set it here. Welcomes you. I have to identify all this shit. Not that good game yet. This is really nice. 50 life, 50 mana. Hello. I don't know why I'm keeping the larger cube in my inventory anyways. Don't really need it. Boom. What you need? We'll probably blow all my money on gambling. Just trying to find a better weapon because there is actually no rare version of a javelin. There is Actually, no rare, uh, not rare, sorry, uh, unique or set. You can't find any throwing weapon, at least the uh, javelin class, I know of. There are no uniques. And later difficulties, yeah, there are, but. Increased attack speed. Uh, it's already very fast attack. Ooh, mana stolen. Increased attack size. Yep. 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 It's actually everything I need now. Cold damage, perfect. You can start looking for something else. Something I might want to convert. A skull cap. I might want to convert this into like a 
trying to find the rare versions because obviously they said the recipe that I set for myself is it includes the rare but it can also be the set version or the unique version if I want to create a set or a unique from a, from a set or well you understand so it can be rare unique or set to create the set or the unique version of the item but I will try to keep myself to rare items but uh, sometimes it's just hard to find it's too hard to find and by the time I'm finding the ingredients it's already outdated because there is a better one but it actually it all depends on shoes anyways and I forgot to buy another portion join my army of the dead Try to micro here, but not enough mana. Oh, shit. Buy some mana potions. See, I mean, Blood Ribbon is still kicking my ass. It doesn't matter if I have uniques or rare items. Easy. -D. What can I do for you? Well, it cost me a lot of money. I almost want to quick save every time I enter the... My army will destroy you. Portal. There you go. Rest in peace, sister. Let's go home and claim the reward. Level three, are Hello. you kidding me? I need a level 7 cold arrow. Kyoko. Nice. Greetings.
Do you think? Not gonna go and search for Kayu. Zone. Which actually should be Lance's own. I thought Spear is only for throwing, but I might be wrong. So let's see how much Jillian costs now. Good evening! See, it's fixed level. Going to, uh, I'm gonna get a very nice version of this unique uh, spike shield and then I will change it for the tower shield later on but for now I don't have much money and I will obviously get uh, two stones of Jordan um, I'm gonna get uh, the Tarn Helm the, the unique school cap um, not bad, it doesn't really matter much. I'm gonna get the, the, the heavy belt unique. I'm gonna get the, the heavy gloves unique, which increases attack speed. Because, uh, well, the way I view things is that uh, the faster I attack, the higher the DPS. It's the same as with like speeding. The more kilometers you do, obviously in a shorter time, the faster you go. Basically, the more damage I do, the faster I uh, uh, The more experience I get, the faster I can get through this game, yada yada yada. Although, to be fair, Diablo is not only about this, about DPS, but I'm playing it like this. I think that was a nice. Well, that is actually a nice uh, skill. And but uh, I don't think it increases your attack speed. Because it's in a jab, it's a fixed attack speed. But I used to use fan a lot when I was playing the Spear Zone. My friend who used to play a lot, we played a lot of strategies back in the days, but it wasn't that effective, and really Amazon is not that effective. Best if you stay away from enemies and kill them from afar, quickly, painlessly. So you have to go to the dark wood, obviously. I 
level nine. Cool. This is good for my put that to good use. And this. I'll put that to good use. You're better. Just need to give her a bow. on those rip corners again. Fuck it, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.
What can I do for you? or sets to be fair. Uh, before it gets dark, I should really look for the tree. Champions are very good experience and they usually drop mana. Is that tree? I don't think it's on the road. Come, come. I definitely don't want to get bogged down in those camps at all. Nope. 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 Good day. Put 
had to produce. So finding grass, but they're not too amazing. I mean, this is nice, but I mean, 75% reduced lamb from poison. I mean, it's, it's not like I'm gonna die from poisoning. Not in Act 1, that's for sure. Maybe Act 2. And uh, the 17 defense isn't that much. I will showcase it to you. 16%. 21%. At least I should show it like this. 92%, 21, so 2% more. Or less. That's not too game breaking, is it? It's just a more, let's say, like funner way to play. Maybe that's what I should call this playthrough. More rewarding, funner Diablo 2. I'll probably put a description on all the mods I'm using, so feel free to try them out if you like it. I can say that this is more fun than playing the vanilla or playing some need? crazy mod. I still prefer the original Empires. Because uh, you, you can need? go for Median XL or uh, whatever other mods there are out in the wild, but I still prefer the original wife, the original monsters. Hey. That's nice. See, I'm, it's a set item and I don't even care caring. Like, uh, keeping it. I just don't care. Found something better, which is a rare item. It's a random drop, random gamble. game breaking at all, it's just basically what I'm looking for is mana, plus 9 mana, just for convenience, plus resistance won't do much for me, fast with recovery, I guess it's just whatever. Mm. I'll put that to good use. can either find it right off the bat or you have to search for it for hours and hours and hours and hours. But I'm not gonna fight all these creatures, no. stuff for the other classes, obviously. That's why I think that Diablo is not that rewarding. You find a lot of stuff, but mostly just selling. It's like treasure hunting. Which is nice, but not all the time. Ah, well. 
that's just super useful. Actually, if I finally find the tree, I can return here. Uh, I didn't want to come inside here. Strange-looking tree. It does stick out a lot. That's for sure. Hello. So I'm probably just gonna go rescue Kane, clear out Tristram, and then let's go wrap it up for the first episode. to my, my chick. Put that to good use. There's so much stuff that you don't even need. I'm not even looking at them because I don't care. Nice spear here. That's why I thought like making the game a bit more rewarding, but uh, I will stop talking about that. I think uh, everybody understands now what my goal with this. This is basically raising the play value of the game. Mods. Thank God for mods and modders. Good evening. Good evening. Definitely good evening. Nope, nope, leave it. Well, no wonder <laughs> I'm evolving fast as hell. Almost got my Zeus. Okay, so where are the stones? Well, 
I don't want to put anything into the pillar. Basically, I want to get synergy, obviously. So I will put one point into each. It's, it's except these, because these don't count. Yay. And I've got the ZS. The minor ZS, as I like to call it. The God of Lightning and Thunder. It's as if a great war were fought here. Yep, Diablo 1. I like to clear out this level. It's actually quite disturbing. Yeah, I do like to clear out this this whole area. It's quite high treasure class here. And the higher the treasure class, the more likely I'm getting treasure. This 8 player mod not only increases the difficulty, but it increases the drop rate of monsters. It, however, it does not increase the treasure class of the monsters. So you cannot really get better items, just more items with this 8 player mod. Griswold. There he is. Oh, light is a running and rescue at this point. This is nice. I will keep it. I had so much in here. Wow. Nice ring. Great. I should go on 
don't get cane or other. So I don't need this. I will keep this because I will probably convert that uh, after part one to the Tarn Helm. That could be pretty useful this early on. Up the one sake, the secret city. It's so bad to see it burnt out like that. Makes you feel sad. If you play the other one, that is. Oh well. Yes. That work for me, bitch. Good day. I got a ring. I'll put that to good use. That's better for you. No more identity screw rolls. It's quite nice. I'm very proud of her. Okay. Good day. Your stupid hammer. Well, I just spend our own money by gambling. Ooh. Well, it's padded, but I like the man of steel thing and the cold damage. So I'm gonna be able to do one thing for now. Ooh. Ooh, this is very nice. Gambling worth it. I'm gonna keep it on. It's fine. Got that covered. It's actually, I'm. I want to get the unique version of this. So basically I will be able to now. But I might keep this one. 
because um, I'm getting the unique version of uh, the chain boots only because of the faster run and walk speed which is the unique version is 30% this one 20% is already nice because obviously if I want to make this a more enjoyable playthrough I would like to be faster doing anything Faster uh, attack speed, faster run speed. These are my pals during this playthrough. Strength or dexterity. Probably strength. I'm good with dexterity. Because with a uh, lightning bolt you don't even need dexterity. You don't need to aim. Oh, this is bad. It just hits. Of course, enemies can block it, but it doesn't matter what's their attack rating and the defense. Ah, son of a bitch. I think this is so expensive. It's crazy. What's twelve percent to magic find when I have much more? When I have one thousand two hundred something. I will want the unique version of this to increase its attack speed. to make it right now is just uh, exit, get it done in the hero editor and uh, put it in my inventory and then that's it. Just put it on and use. Obviously I'm not that good to create custom recipes and stuff. There might be a mod, I try to find any mods, I mean uh, there are quite a few mods for Diablo 2 but uh, the community is not that active anymore. There are lots of outdated mods, and I'm only playing the ones that are like at least 1.13c. With that said, thanks for watching, and uh, if you liked it, watch part two. Why not? Have a nice one. Peace.